I was in college, I was in college in Alaska, one of the things that we liked to do is to go cross-country skiing, uh, right? It's about all we could do in Alaska in the wintertime. And so uh, there was one time that I was out, I was out by myself, probably not the smartest thing that I've ever done, but I was out by myself in the woods and I was cross-country skiing and I was going across a lake. So it's Alaska in the wintertime, the lake's fully frozen, that's where the trail led. And as I'm about in the middle of the lake, I see the trees on the other side shaking and, and this, this loud noise and out pops this massively large moose. Uh, and I thought, oh sweet. And so I pull out my camera, I uh, actually had cameras uh, at that point in time, and I'm looking through the viewfinder of my camera and I saw, all of a sudden have the idea, what if that thing charges me? What, would, what in the world would I do? And at the same time, on the other side of the trail, comes its little baby calf. If I had been 50 feet further, I would have been between this mother moose and its calf, and that probably would have been it for me. Uh, so I slowly walk back and get out of there and find an alternate route. Um, the point is that nature can be a scary place at times. Um, in, in our chapter this week, in our study in Isaiah, we're in chapter 11, uh, what we see is, you know, some of these what would otherwise be very dangerous animals are suddenly at peace. Uh, we see the wolf, we see the leopard and the lion and even the, the cobra or the viper uh, to the extent that even as we'll see that a child will be able to reach its hand into the viper's nest without fear or risk. Uh, the world has been set at a place of peace and all of this centers on this person this this shoot of Jesse uh, this Messiah it's the child we've been talking about from uh, chapters uh, previous that this this one will come and will set all things right even nature will be restored in some ways uh, perhaps even reminiscent of the Garden of Eden we see a particular thing we see that this Messiah will set even politically the world will be at peace which that might for us in our current climate seem like the biggest miracle of all perhaps um, and, and I want you to notice one other thing is that this Messiah will also gather his people so we've heard about the judgment of Judah we've heard uh, last week about the destruction of Israel but even the individuals uh, that, that are Israel, who are spread out, will be regathered re uh, and they will be at a place of peace. It's an encouraging and wonderful chapter. Um, I, I hope you're encouraged by it this week.